Adrian in Germany writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, first of all, a happy new year to you. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, I'm working in the audio industry for a long time now and have recommended and sold hundreds of PS Audio devices. Why, thank you. I am assuming, Adrian, you are a dealer <laughs> in Germany. So um, I also heard from many customers that they have read the Audio Science Review where it shows an increase in noise on your power plant. Although I don't come to the same conclusion as the reviewer does, not many people do, <laughs> it's okay, uh, since I hear a big difference when I use the power plant. I wonder, though, how he got those test results that clearly show noise levels worse than his AC wall outlet when using the power plant. Yeah, um, you know, Amir is a, a good guy. He does a, um, a good service for the community. He has his trusty audio precision, as do we, as do a lot of people, and he shows a lot of interesting stuff. I don't think he either understood the power plant all that well or, or what, I don't know. But indeed, the power plant above a certain frequency puts out a bit more noise than what's coming in to the power plant. Absolutely true. There's the oscillator in there that we use to generate the 60 hertz, puts out some noise. People have noticed, well, it, it doesn't take the audio science thing to, to do it. If you, you know, we make these little noise harvesters and it's just simply a little device that converts line noise into light. And it's like a filter, it just kind of limits it a little bit. And if you put one of those noise harvesters at the wall, you'll see it blink, 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 blink. You put it to the output of a power plant and it's blink, 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 blink. It blinks a lot. And that's because there actually is more noise coming out of it. So let's talk about that a little bit because the job of a power plant is not to get rid of noise. It does lower it for, at certain frequencies for sure. And I don't wanna get into that because again, it's not important. The noise on the line that you see mostly goes away through the power supply of whatever you're feeding it. The trick with a power plant is the fact that it regulates the AC power. And that is its biggest function. Now, what happens when you regulate the power? When you regulate the AC power, the impedance goes down dramatically. How do we measure impedance? Well, we measure it in well, several ways, but the essence of it is that when I draw current out of a power plant, the voltage from the power plant doesn't drop very much. It drops almost nothing. If I were to take a power amp and I draw current, let's say I draw five amps out of the wall, you'll see the voltage in the wall because of the impedance of the uh, AC wire that's feeding it, you'll see it drop, right? And you can actually, if you draw enough current and modulate from an amplifier, you can take your audio precision, your scope, whatever you want, and you can see the music on the line. It's going like this to exaggerate a point. You put it on a power plant and it's rock solid. And that's because we have an active amplifier with a large power supply that's storing energy and it is regulating that AC power. And what we have discovered over the years is that lowering of impedance, that regulation of the power that is backed up by a huge amount of current vis-a-vis -vis the power supply capacitors inside of a power plant is the key to why power plants sound, well, power plants don't sound better, power plants help your system sound better. And you can experiment all day long with it. And what we've found is that you can get a little bit cleaner sound with a line conditioner. Now that's something if you were to measure because it has coils and caps and it's a filter and it will clean up noise. You can get a little bit cleaner sound, but it's at the expense of overall sonic performance because that type of filter actually increases impedance rather than decreases it. 
So for that 99% effect, you got to regulate the power with a device that has a huge amount of current so that when you have a low power factor, like a 0.7 power factor, drawing current through a power plant, the impedance at any current that's being up to its rated level is constant and steady. It's the impedance and the regulation of the power plant that makes the biggest difference. Okay? There you go. Thanks.